Hi. Hello. Guy, yes? Yes, my name's Guy. Uh, Your name's Rafael, right? My name's Rafael. I'm from Brazil. Nice to nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. You okay. know, I was looking at your name and I tried to guess where you are from. I wouldn't have guessed Brazil. Actually, your your surname, it looks very German. Scheid. Is there a lot of Yes, Scheitz from German. Yes. <laughs> is there a lot of German names in Brazil? Y yes, but uh, we have a lot of names in Brazil that is from other countries, you know. But yeah. it's normal here. For example, Faria, my second uh, last name, my last name uh, mm -hmm. is is from here, is from Brazil, you know. But wh yeah. where are you from? You are are you Germany? No, no, I'm I'm from England. Ah. I'm from England, but I live in Wales, which ah. is right next to England. Okay, so you yeah, in the UK. You your your professional is professor, in fact. A professor? Yes. I'm not a professor, no. <laughs> so yeah, but... professor professor is like a university professor. Uh -huh. so it's quite a prestigious job, someone who's got Doctor, I'd be Doctor Guy Smith, you know, Professor okay. Guy Smith. <laughs> like so, um, no, you... I'm just like I'm an English teacher, an English tutor online. Mm -hmm. So I work for a couple of different companies, including Cambly. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I'm doing loads of Cambly, really tons of Cambly, because <laughs> I'm changing my my other job, my second job. Um, I'm changing to a new company, so uh, I have extra time to do Cambly, which okay. is good because uh, Cambly is really fun and really interesting okay. for me. No, I, yeah. I, like, I like Cambly. Uh, this is my 30, 30 uh, month at Cambly, you know, or in Cambly. And I, I'm try, I am trying to improve my English because in Brazil, just 5% of population speak English, you know. So in Cambly, I have, I have uh, opportunity to speak English every day. And uh, it's very good for me because I work with technology. I am developer, you know. Sure. And uh, I am trying to get some jobs from another country, for example, Europe, US. Mm -hmm. English today, you understand? Yeah, exactly. It's yes. a really, it's a really common reason for people to to be on here practicing their English for sure. Um, it's yes. it's amazing, right? The technology that we're thousands of miles away, but we can just practice languages like this. It's it's really cool. <laughs> yes. So yesterday, yesterday I had an interview in English, my first interview in mm -hmm. English, because I am I am studying English during all this day, 2020, you know. And yesterday was my first interview, but this interview is just to train my English and. I understood what uh, the interviewer sure. said me, no problem, you know, but uh, I don't have confidence to, to talk because sometimes I, I freeze, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. Sure. Uh, and it's very difficult. I don't know whether, I to... um, have you ever tried to speak English when you've been drinking, like alcohol? It's much, no, it's no, much easier. So <laughs> to speak foreign languages is much easier when you've been drinking because I think it's because you you put less pressure on yourself. You're more relaxed, and it just it just comes out <laughs> uh, re usually correctly. But um, so much of, so much of learning English or learning any language is having the confidence in yourself to use it. I think what's important to say is that there's lo loads of people around the world learning English, and it's really normal to just make a mistake sometimes. No one, no one's expecting you to be perfect uh, as long as you get your meaning across. And on here, there's mistakes of, you know, mistakes are not good, but um, we learn from them. So it's important to make mistakes on here if, uh, if there's perfect. something you don't understand. No, I, I don't have, I don't have problem to make mistakes, okay. you know, but I have afraid to don't understand what the interviewer said, okay. you know? The interviewer are saying, yeah. you know, because 
for example, yesterday the interviewer are explaining me uh, about his business, you know, and his business is a platform where the the hunters uh, rent a room on the side. We have people that and uh, to rent. And this is a this is a a platform between hunters and renter. Yes, renters and yeah, sure. yes. and and they yeah. do they do business in in this platform, you know. And uh, uh, I had I had some problems to understand it, and I asked it to him a lot of times, maybe three times, to 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 I understand what his business uh, make. You understand? Okay, so you you found it difficult to understand him in the interview. Yes, yes, but you had. When when you are talking about uh, whatever ideas, you know, uh, okay, no problem. But when I need to pay attention, it's it's very difficult to me to to understand, you know. Okay, and where this man? Where was he from? Uh, what kind of accent Spanish. did he have? D this guy, this guy is from Spanish. This guy is Spanish. He's Spanish. He's yeah. from Spain. Yes. Okay. So he he probably had a Spanish accent, right? Yes, he he had Spanish accent. But the, the like you said, this guy, uh, the language, the English language, not is the native language to him. You know, no, yeah. not me, neither me. You know, and yeah. it's okay. Uh, we can we can, we could. Uh, how can I say? Can in the past we could talk in English? Yes. Mm -hmm. You you could talk in English with no problem, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Uh, it's you know, it's it's quite funny for for us that other people from different places use English to communicate with each other. Uh, it's interesting. It's come becoming like a a kind of like a global language, which is um, yeah, kind of interesting. We'll see where it goes, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it's 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 good for us. There's lots of opportunities for us to to help people and work with people on their English. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it sounds like you need you want to practice listening, like listening to English, understanding it. Is that right? Yes, yes. I, I try to practice learning, uh, listening. Mm -hmm. In general, I I like to to. I like. To, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, it just uh, it Hello, freezes guys. a little bit sometimes. Okay, uh, I like I like to to watch series in Netflix. Uh, for example, La Casa di Babel. I don't know if you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's got a different name in English. We call it Money Heist in English. What what's it's name? Called money Heist. Like heist is like a robbery. You steal something. Uh, they changed the name. Money, right? Yes, yes, because the guys are stalking, stalking, or stalling the the bank. So, yes, yeah, stealing from a bank. They're bank robbers, right? I, I haven't, I haven't yeah. seen it yet, but um, is it good? So I, I try, I try to 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 see a lot of uh, episodes. Yes, episodes. Yes. To, to try to, to understand the accent from the mm -hmm. actors, you know, this, this, this is a thing that helped me, you know, but, but I need, I need to, I need to study more. I need to see more series, more movie because I need to uh, use it to yeah. my, my yeah. listening. You know? It really I'm, is you like understand. you're training your ear to understand the, the, the sound of English um it's you know yes. with nowadays with tv series podcasts movies uh the news you can find this online and listen to it just if you maybe if you're driving or cooking or doing something really you it's good to pay attention obviously but even if you're busy doing something your brain is becoming more used to listening to english different accents as well, speaking English, I I really recommend this for you. That would be a good way outside of Cambly. That would be a good way for you to practice. But obviously, I think this is probably the best kind of practice because it's 
this is how we use English, how we use languages and conversation. But um, maybe listening is an area you can you can really focus on. No, it's a good it's a good yeah. tip. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to do it, but yeah, I, I don't I I can't do that every day, you sure. know. But if if, uh, if I could do do it every day, it's uh, it's uh, it can help me. I don't I know, you know. But but man, uh, help me in a in a specific thing, please. Uh, in an interview, yeah. you know, in an interview, uh, in general. Uh, what, what's your what's what is your opinion? You need to speak more, or you need to listen more. You know. Interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting question. I mean, it's hard to know what the correct answer to this is. You know, I'm not uh, I'm not an expert on interviews, but I've done a few. Um, I think it would be maybe to speak more. I wouldn't want to speak over the interviewer, but really they want to they want to see you know more about you and share your for you to share your experiences with them um it's quite probably quite difficult to all the time trying to think of new questions to ask someone so um i think speaking more would be good uh than listening but um yeah obviously li listening too is important so uh, there's a there's a balance to strike i think between the between the two no, I, I i ask it to you because mm -hmm. uh how my how my english not so good uh some sometimes i need to i need to just ask you know because yeah i have afraid in talking sure. a lot and uh made a lot of mistakes in my grammar yeah. you know and it 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 can it can show uh, bad for me, you know, it can appear bad for me. You understand? Okay, I see. Yeah, I think um, I think it's okay. I, I, you know, English isn't his first language either. He's probably thinking the same thing as you. So I hope this person doesn't judge my English kind of thing. But uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't be, uh, I, I wouldn't be worried about that. Um, obviously, you keep practicing on Cambly and, and you'll, you'll keep improving and that won't be a problem at all. Why, why do you need English for work? Because your job is kind of, you have like a technical role at work? No, T today, today is because my, my, my books, my papers, my, the, the good books and good papers is in English, you know, but I'd like to get some jobs from international jobs, yeah. you know? So I need to do meetings. I need to uh, write a, an email, respond an email, you know. And I need to, I need to, I need to do. I need to. I, I have a. I, I, in fact, I have a dream to to speak English. Okay. You know? yeah. And my, my my way, the way that I found is get a job and work in an international yeah. project. Even even thought it is a freelancer. No problem, no. But I need to. I need to involve me with another people. I need to speak English every day. I need to to take in in fire. You know, I need to take in fire. It it it, it exists. Taking fire. No, we wouldn't. Uh, we wouldn't say it like that. Um, we say like we call something a baptism of fire. Is like, or we say, uh, throw. I want to throw myself into the deep, and like, if someone's trying to swim, they're trying to learn how to swim. You throw them into the swimming mm -hmm. pool, and they learn how to swim. It's like this with your English, right? right? You want to, there's, there's. you want to just jump in, and uh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Perfect. So yes, uh, because in, in Portuguese we we have an expression that we need to put fire. We need to put fire in the door, you know. For example, to to don't don't back. Yeah, you know? it's really different. <laughs> you say it in a really different yeah. way, but it's the same meaning. Yeah, it's the same meaning. Yes. No, it, it's interesting because each language has a, a specific expression. Yeah, yes. we have loads. We have loads of idioms and things to learn. So. Um, okay. No, that's great. Uh, so we, it looks like we're out of time. It was really nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, hopefully I'll see you soon.
Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Have a good you day. You too. Bye, Rafa.